uh, the uh, problem is global. So uh, whether we uh, think, uh, well, there's no question we're going to have to act, think globally and act globally. Uh, my city uh, has uh, 54.6 square miles. Uh, the global land mass is 53 uh, million square miles. And let me just be real quick if I can, Kathy, because I know five minutes I can hardly give you my name as most politicians <laughs> almost agree. Uh, uh, any of you who happen to be on the internet, if you want to go to www.worldometer.info, uh, you'll see uh, some of the statistics that I'm going to hit real quick. 6,888,419 thousand seven hundred and eighty five eighty six that's supposed to be the world population in real time uh, you know several other statistics that are reflected by that uh, uh, that statistical uh, website seven billion seven hundred and sixty five uh, million and some odd uh, was the amount of money we spent on health care today one billion twenty nine billion nine hundred and forty four two hundred and fifty four uh, of the uh, global population is undernourished uh, 1 billion, on the other hand, 157 million, 244, 831, now this was four or five minutes ago, are overweight, uh, and a portion of those are obese. You have 1 uh, billion, 450 million, and some chains that have no access to safe water. Uh, those uh, numbers belie the problem that we have to act locally on. Uh, now, how are we going to be able to do that? I know in our country we had an election uh, uh, Tuesday, uh, November. And uh, there was somewhat of a change of perhaps uh, philosophy in the Congress. And I think many of us, uh, while that was a, a swap in parties in terms of the, uh, the U.S. House, uh, you know, those of us who are in city halls across the, the globe and certainly in, in our country, uh, we uh, very rarely know who a Democratic mayor is and a Republican mayor is. Uh, and for many reasons, I think that's true all over the world because I tell my colleagues, that there's no such thing as democratic crime in terms of the party and Republican garbage. Uh, uh, crime is crime, garbage is garbage, clean water is clean water, uh, waste uh, uh, disposal is waste disposal, parks are parks. Uh, what we do as mayors are, are support quality of life issues. Uh, and we have to look to the future. Our charge is, uh, is, is our uh, job description is that we're to preserve the public peace, health, and safety. And that charge has even gotten broader as we look at the nutrition and, uh, and, and, and exercise and, and the creation of place. But we have to do this uh, in a way that we can sell it to those folks who uh, are essentially going to have to pay for it. And those are our citizens, whether they pay for it direct taxes uh, that they pay to the city or whether they pay for it through the state or in many instances the federal government. So that has to be a groundswell that we work for, not only as, as, as mayors across our country, U.S., but also mayors across the globe. Let me just bring it home real quickly, uh, and I think I've got three minutes and a few seconds left, two minutes and a few seconds left. Now, we have a hydroelectric plant in, the, in our city, and it generates uh, roughly a uh, capacity of 42 megawatts, and each megawatt of power we generate on a daily basis, you know, we get what we call one green tag, and there's an informal market in the United States that that green tag has a value. That value is, uh, is, is given uh, to companies who want to uh, obviously look at renewable credit and claim that they have, uh, and, and a valid claim, that they're supporting that kind of an energy. Uh, we had a plant that was looking to locate in the U.S., uh, uh, somewhere in the U.S. It was a Caterpillar plant. Many of you might know it's a fairly large, heavy construction vehicle. And, uh, and, and we were trying to figure out a way that we as a local city could match a state funding in order to uh, try to secure that plan. Well, we <coughs> approached a Caterpillar company and they were a very environmentally uh, uh, conscious company and we offered them up to $3 million worth of credit, two and a half million dollars to be exact, uh, in these green tags. And that uh, was matched by the governor uh, and that plan, because of that and other things, chose our, our community and that's 600 new jobs uh, that are ramping up now and if you, uh, uh, purchase a, a, a heavy-duty motor grader, it's going to be made in my city in the future. So this is a part of the ribbon that we cut six months ago in, uh, in opening that plant that's going to have those 600 jobs. So, you know, to me, if we are going to be able, at least in my country, to move uh, the quality of life that we are so responsible for, then we're going to have to team up not only with uh, organizations in my country. I was uh, probably one of the first 50 mayors to sign, Kathy, the uh, a marriage climate protection agreement. I'm certainly proud, uh, uh, Martha, to be one 
of the 138 mayors, now 142 mayors, to sign uh, the Mexico City Pact. Uh, I can't do a whole lot, as I said a little earlier, about the uh, 53,000 uh, square, 53 million square miles, but rest assured, my 54.6, along with working with my colleagues, are going to make things happen. Thank you very much.